What is going on everybody? My name is Nick and it is time for another album review. We're taking a look at CN Blue and their newest album titled Blooming. So we're going to get into the to the review just with overall statement saying that I like this album. It is pretty darn good. So that being said, of course, we have to talk about why we can't just end the review right here. So I'm going to tell you why, and then I'm going to tell you how exactly I'm going to spend my money on this album, if I will at all. So if you just listen to their promotion song for this album, you need to listen to this album because it is not what you would expect if you just went into it expecting what you heard from the promotion track. This one is drastically different it is super super different than what you know you would expect well not drastically it is but it is definitely significantly different than what the promotion song sounds like so I think you know you go with you go with the promotion song that sounds similar to what or is familiar to current fans and also something that is not particularly going to be or it's not going to be something that's so crazy or an experimental that is going to push away new fans who aren't particularly into the group so far thus far so you know it's a good i think it's a good choice of promotion song promotion track to get you into the album which is different than what i've particularly heard cm blue do in the past so much at the very least in this album it is different than the promotion song so the entire album i think well i'm gonna say it has more of a folk feel to it and that's basically just because it goes more acoustic you have you know more acoustic guitar just in general more acoustic instruments in the instrument track for the rest of the album and i quite like it you know they, they they've changed up the instrumentation a bit you know step back the energy and the tempo for the rest of the for the entire album it's really really nice to listen to it's very very interesting it's definitely uh, very different than what you would probably hear with any of the other, you know, K-pop rock groups or the pop rock groups in K-pop these days. Definitely interesting. And one thing that you will not hear or see or anything in very many other K-pop, you know, groups or albums, you won't see any other groups do it, or you won't see it in very many, you know, albums that any groups do, is that this album has a song that is sung in English. It's entirely in English. And I have to say, it's pretty good English too. It's not like it's, you know, a poor translation or someone who doesn't speak it as their first language. It's really good English and it's absolutely fantastic. That song is the last one on the album titled Stay Sober. It's really, really good. And obviously this is something that you do not see in very many albums, if at all. I mean, the most recent release that I've I mean, the first release I've ever heard of, really, that's been entirely in English was Amber's song for The Station, and that was the first time I've heard a, a K-pop song that was sung in English before, so this is it was definitely different, and CN Blue has done something similar, although you, most people probably won't hear it because this one is buried at the end of their album, so, you know, definitely check that out it's really really, it's a pretty, it's a really good song, and definitely for, you know, foreign fans who are fluent in English or is me it's their first language or the only language that they really know listen to stay sober it's probably it very well might be your gateway into being a fan of CN blue you know and overall generally speaking too like talk going back to the difference between the promotion track to the you know rest of the album right my the entire feel to it is it's not really weird it's just I said it was weird when I wrote this but it's not so much that it's weird, it's more that it's just interesting that they would do that. You know, like I said, it's kind of like, you know, give it a give it a familiar feel to current fans and something that's not going to, you know, push new fans away to bring them into the album when you get something that's a little bit different than what you would normally get from CN Blue. You know, so that's really, really nice. Um, you know, like I said, it comes off, the first time I heard it, it was a bit weird, but honestly, you know, as I listened to it a couple more times, it's good, it's nice. I like that it's different, you know, it's, it makes it interesting. So you listen to the first song, which is a promotion song, and then you drop into the second song, which is definitely the most different song on the entire album, and that catches your attention, you know? I'm like, if you weren't really paying attention to it, and then the song just completely changed like that, I'm like, I, I had to pause for a second, I just thought, and I was like, whoa, that's weird, what is going on here? And, you know, that definitely got me more interested to, like, actively listen to the rest of the album, as opposed to just, like, sitting there playing video games or doing whatever it was I was doing, and just listening to the album as background music music you know it's really really good and it was honestly a just nice surprise to hear something that you know hear a change within an album that wasn't particularly expected so 
I mean, overall, like I said, I like the album. It is pretty good. So my rating on how I would spend my money or not is that I think I'm definitely considering that I'm going to buy this album. It's definitely been added to like my wish list of albums that I want. The only thing is, though, that because I don't particularly, CN Blue hasn't really done anything for me that has particularly, like, made me a super fan or anything like that. It's not really so high up on my, you know, priority list or my list of priority albums to get. Um, If it's on sale for a really cheap price or I'm using it to fill something to get some free shipping, depending on how much it costs, I might get it sooner rather than later. Who knows specifically what's going to happen in the future, but, you know, I definitely... You know, because it's good music, I definitely want to spend some money on it. I don't know if I'm going to spend any money on it anytime soon. Probably, I don't know. It, it's, it's just you know, how mu- I don't really love CM Blue that much. I don't love this album that much that I'm just like you know gonna kill myself to spend all my money on it right now. Later in the future, definitely I will buy it. I will spend the money, but just not right now because I just do not like it that much. So. That is it for my album review. Down in the comment below, whatever, down in the comments on social media, let me know what you think of this album. You know, I wanna know, CN Blue, your favorite song, you know, whatever, what are your thoughts on it? Do you agree with me or do you disagree? Whatever, like I said, down in the comments or you can hit me up on social media, Twitter and Facebook. I think I'm pointing to the wrong corner. Yeah, my social media icons, icons are up there. What am I even doing? Anyway. That is going to be it for this video. As always, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. The ba- by the by the drum, by the drummer and the the bassist, and that is definitely the point, the strongest point of CN Blue in my opinion. This one, right? It's the main feature of the of the group. Like I said, it's really great. This one, as with any song that they do, I think is you know it's strong and it is engaging or 